Hello, and today I'm going to be going over a significant severe weather event to affect much of the northern United States, particularly the Midwest and the northeastern United States. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Like and subscribe. First of all, there is a large level 2 of 5 severe weather risk for tomorrow. This is mainly for winds and hail, but there is a little bit of a tornado risk, as you can see here. And that's mainly in Illinois, a little bit of Iowa and Missouri as well. But as I said, there's a widespread wind threat, including some parts of the southeast, actually. And then there is the hail threat, as you can see here. On day three, or Saturday, there is a large, slight risk of severe weather, which could turn into an enhanced, I think. And this ranges from parts of Indiana over to parts of north central and northwestern or northeastern Ohio. There is also a marginal risk heading all the way over to New York City. I think that day four, Sunday, is the start of a two-day severe weather event. There is in the Midwest a day four slight risk of severe weather, which they don't issue very often. Usually that means they're relatively confident in a uh, sub-level of a severe weather event. And then there's a day five slight risk of severe weather across parts of the Ohio Valley. I think this will be a multi-day severe weather event, more than likely not an outbreak, but we'll see how it evolves. Here is the radar. Uh, as you can see, thunderstorms late tonight and tomorrow morning will begin to develop a squall line. We'll head down to Illinois and Indiana, but then we'll really fizzle out uh, as soon as it gets into central Indiana. Then another one forms in Wisconsin, heads all the way down to Illinois and Ohio, or in Indiana, and then it will head into parts of uh, central Ohio and um, northern Ohio. Then they'll head into Pennsylvania, still could be severe. Things that will be helping the storm are that are the fact that there's tons of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. Warm, moist air will, will fuel the, these storms along with uh, lots of instability, as you can expect during the summer months. High instability of 3,000 plus joules per kilogram are in place. The only limiting factor is mainly for tornadoes where there is generally low in uh, wind shear except for Illinois, which moves through Indiana and then into Ohio, but then will weaken as soon as it gets to central Ohio. As you can see here, mainly in the deep south, as well as Missouri and Illinois, as uh, all the way up to Minnesota, there are there is a lot of rainfall happening and there could be some flooding in the next two days. On the NAM 12 kilometer, because it's a little bit further out, you can see that uh, on Sunday, the, you can see the severe weather event beginning to shape up. As you can see here, this is the supercell composite. There is a higher chance for supercells where wind shear and instability mix, and that'll be happening over parts of Illinois. There is also going to be significant flooding in the deep south and then the Midwest as well. So that is a widespread flooding event we do have to watch out for today or through the next several days. Here is my severe weather prediction. I have in the Midwest over to the Ohio Valley and parts of the interior Northeast a higher chance for severe thunderstorms. This is because this is where most of the uh, systems are going to be tracking along with the moisture and right in here from Illinois over to Ohio, I think there is a little bit of a tornado threat. Right here is my flooding risk, uh, where I think that realistically there's going to be the most flooding, though this could extend further north than I'm saying, according to some weather models. In the deep south, over to the Ohio Valley and Midwest, there's going to be significant chances for flooding. Goodbye, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, Share the video, and why not throw a comment down below. Bye!